Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta and this is a very special edition of Walk the Talk and I'll tell you why. Because my guest this week is none else than President F.W.D. Clark of South Africa, a man who shaped history and altered the course of the future, not just for South Africa or all of Africa, but for the world in a way. Because with Nelson Mandela, he built the new peace and reconciliation in South Africa that nobody could have dreamt of, which ended apartheid and produced a brilliant, multicultural, multiracial rainbow nation. President Dikla, welcome to Walk the Thank Talk. you. It is such a privilege. It's good to be on your program. Talking with you. It's wonderful. Uh, real statesmanship is built by giving something up. In a way, you gave up power. Well, reality at times demands that a leader should take initiatives. And the reality in South Africa was that we were facing what could have become a catastrophe. And somehow or another, leadership was called upon at that time to ask ourselves, what do we do to ensure that we bring justice to all on the one hand, and on the other hand, that we end a violent conflict to which there would be no end, which no one could win. That was the situation which I faced when I became president. That was the situation in the last five years before I became president. And while I was one of the senior ministers in the cabinet under my predecessor. And on the other hand, the ANC faced exactly the same question. They came to the realization, this conflict, they can't win. We can't win it, they can't win it. And their main sponsor, the USSR, was gone. fell away, was gone. The, right. the Berlin Wall came down. And suddenly, there were us. We on the one side holding the reins of power. They, on the other hand, commanding a majority of the people of South Africa. We have already from our side, and I have in my mind already decided, everybody in South Africa must have equal political rights. All forms of discrimination must go. But we needed to replace the old separate development apartheid regime with a regime which would uphold the values of the rule of law of real democracy, of liberalism. liberalism. And the only way to do that would be for former enemies to sit around the same table, to face each other, and to negotiate a new dispensation. But tell us how difficult was it to sit across a table initially? Initially, uh, it wasn't all that difficult. Difficult, I think, is the wrong word. It was a period, the initial phases, of gaining an understanding of each other. And actually, at the end of the first intensive discussion, which took place in April 1990, all of us came away and we said to each other, and we said to the media, in the words of Tabu and Becky, we thought the other ones were devils with folk tales, and we found out we agree about more than we differed about. And suddenly, we humanized our relationship. We felt that, yes, I can talk to this man.